Now, could a person get out of a not very light egregore if this egregore already is operating in the person's family line? What will happen to the person and to the family and to the egregore? I think here it's also very important to make a little bit of a distinction about the height of the egregore, um, how high a consciousness it can encompass. Um, because uh, usually when we, sport, when we talk about egregores, we talk about uh, spiritual egregores. Um, but there are also lower egregores, which are more horizontal in nature. So a city can have an egregore, a country can have an egregore, a people can have an egregore, a political party or even a, a big company can have an egregore. Um, and um, these egregores are only uh, traps if the consciousness of the person uh, cannot overcome it. Uh, so if you can only think of yourself as a material being, um, then you're trapped. Then, my God, I'm a Dutchman and I live in the city of Breda. And if I identify with that, that's where I'm stuck. But if I uh, can think of myself as um, uh, a human being, then you're not limited to being Dutch or being a citizen of a certain city. Um, and uh, by the higher level of consciousness, uh, that also gives you some control over the, of the lower energies which are present in the aggregate. So if I realize that I'm a human being, I'm still Dutch and I'm still living in the city, but um, I can become aware of how being Dutch or living in the city influences me. And I can also try to inspire the energies in the country or in the city to well, not to, to distract me from my past, to work together with me, and they become tools instead of only blockages. So every egregore um, is in a way trying to impart certain goals, um, but the goals are not necessarily um, uh, forced upon you, but they will be constant uh, pulls. So for instance, if the if like my city has a very strong competition with the neighboring city, if I don't do anything, I will get into this competition, I will fight them and we will compete against each other. But by being aware of it and recognizing this energy, I can choose not to react to this energy or only to react to this energy if I want to. Um, but it also will require really uh, an act of consciousness, a conscious control of these lower influences because you are part of that current which is trying to drag you in a certain direction. But by having a higher consciousness you can in a way swim against the current. But depending on the strength of the current it is harder or easier to do. Um, so and yeah, the question is here specifically not so much about the national aggregore, but the aggregore which is in the family line. Uh, it is possible indeed, because certain powers are in a way uh, gifts or aggregores, or connected to a certain aggregore. And these powers can in a way, uh, instead of just being imparted by the uh, incarnating, uh, or taken along with the incarnating spirit, they can also go from bottom up and be nourished in, in a bloodline um, so that indeed an egregore builds up better inc incarnations for its members uh, on the earth. Um, and this is a tricky thing because the power itself is connected to the egregore so your bloodline itself can be connected to this egregore which is um, just part of it. Um, ultimately to get loose of that or to get free of that it will require um, in my energetic surgery uh, that power has to be released because there's at best a dual control over it. The egregore controls it and you control it and if you don't agree with the egregore there will be a constant tug of war how the power will manifest itself and at the moment you're not conscious of the power then the egregore will try to control that part of your life, that part of your being. 
So ultimately it is usually best to uh, rid yourself of that part of the energy body and if you want a similar power then you can just recreate it from a light egregore or from out of your own soul or your own spirit. But then it is your own energy instead of the energy of the egregore. Um, and in a way the process of uh, removing such a power from the energy body is very similar to removing a curse or uh, a process of initiation. It's just a kind of a reverse initiation. Um, one thing is, which is very tricky is basically also the, uh, the contract you have with the egregore. Um, because for use of power you build up in a way a debt or um, uh, the egregore will have a certain um, dominance, a certain hierarchy um, in which uh, it can force you to do things or demand things from you. Um, and buying yourself free of such a contract is always a very difficult business because often they will ask you for to do things but by doing these things you will actually get more connected to the aquacore so often the act of trying to buy yourself free can land you in a bigger depth or in a deeper connection with that aquacore um, so in general it is best to ask for a higher power to um, to mediate between you and the aquacore um, and in general I would uh, usually ask a solar spirit to uh, to be the mediator um, so the consequences for the person of um, uh, yeah, getting out of this uh, not very light aquacore are usually a loss of power, a loss of knowledge, uh, a weakening of their health uh, because one part of their being which is in a way yeah, almost like grown part of the egregore is no longer fed or no longer supported so it is like giving up, tearing out your eye or something like that and uh, in the Bible it says like uh, that you have to be willing to tear out your own eye if it offends God and it's very similar with getting out of a dark egregore. You have to be willing to cut in your own flesh um, to free yourself from these influences. So it is not an easy thing, it's not a nice thing, but often a necessary thing. And the wounds will heal, but yeah, it can take a long time. And by a long time, I usually mean months or years, not lifetimes. Um, the effect on his or her family. Um, this is usually, um, yeah, the reaction is usually animosity um, because other people will feel that you're betraying them, you're not one of them, your behavior is irrational, erratic, uncomprehendable because they are still under the influence of the egregore. It's very much like being part of a cult or a sect or some fundamentalist religion. Um, so leaving an, an egregore can be a very difficult thing because there are bonds of brotherhood, there are expectations, there is this tie which are in a way severing um, in such a way. And it depends very much upon the, the quality of the heart of the people who are involved, whether they can still maintain the connection uh, in a healthy and good way between you or not. And if the heart is well developed, then they can realize that the connection is not, in a way, depending on anything. It is just um, uh, selfless, egoless, uh, uh, free of any desires. Um, and then you can still have a very loving relationship with them. But if there is, uh, some people also tend to use these connections for emotional blackmail or other systems of control and then there will often be a control struggle uh, which will uh, happen as soon as you even think about leaving the aquacore or start leaving the aquacore. So often leaving the aquacore will can mean yeah, leaving certain members of your family behind or severing your ties of brotherhood or in connection with them. Um, and this is very hard because um, your own yeah, family members can turn into your enemies but also because your bloodline is still connected they will have a very good access to you 
so they can easily influence you, they can easily harm you or hurt you and there's yeah, almost no way to protect yourself against it. So leaving an egregore is a, is a major achievement if you can do so, freeing yourself of an egregore. Um, so I have the utmost respect for people who are able to do that. It is harder than getting rid of, uh, of any physical addiction. Um, what consequences it will have for the egregore? Um, the egregore will be um, yeah, slightly uh, upset at losing a member, um, but it can also uh, choose to lose you rather than infect itself. Uh, because if you're a member of an egregore and uh, you're tied in this brotherhood um, connected to all other beings, then your energy will also in a way propagate through this egregore. Your consciousness will also propagate in this egregore and your power will be shared by other things in this egregore. And if you uh, start developing certain powers, certain ideas or a certain type of consciousness which is harmful to the egregore, um, then it can be that either the egregore is, is transformed by your presence, so the egregore can turn from dark to light or from light to dark, if you uh, remain part of the egregore. Uh, the egregore can fall, can fall apart if there is too much disharmony, so you can create a kind of a civil war within the egregore. Uh, but most usually you're simply kicked out. The egregore itself will try to sever its ties with you. Um, but then the, uh, in a way the payment has to be the other way around. So instead of you leaving them and having to pay a severance pay, the egregore itself will have to pay you to, yeah, um, to get out. And um, often this is in the form of uh, integrating uh, the powers it in a way knows, it manifests, and giving them to you as a part of your own energy body. So that uh, you will in a way incorporate all the powers of the egregore, but you will have control over them yourself instead of the egregore controlling them. Um, so this is in a way the ideal solution if you can um, grow so much that the egregore can't keep up with you and then you can grow and in a way uh, surpass the egregore and still take all the knowledge and power which the, you learned in the egregore, which is like a school, take it with you to other egregores or higher consciousness. And this is also very much how the light side works. They tend to try to help people to move from one egregore into a higher egregore. Uh, the dark side is not so happy if this happens, but also on the dark side this happens. So one of the interesting things is also that uh, between egregores, but also between cosmoses, um, there can be ambassadors. So people who are in a way from a light cosmos, who go into the dark cosmos or the other way around, or also between light and dark egregores. And um, um, they can be in a way uh, uh, peaceful. Uh, and then there are an ambassador, they can also be invaders uh, who come to attack or to destroy, then there are warriors, um, they can also be masters who in a way try to, uh, who can work with both types of energy and in a way can create a synergy between these two very different uh, powers. 